In this Laravel tutorial, we're going to set up or install Laravel on a Windows machine using XAMPP and Composer. The process is straightforward. We're going to install XAMPP, which is going to provide us a database and also a web server, which we can then use phpMyAdmin to administrate the database. Note that we won't be using the web server from XAMPP to actually run our Laravel applications. Then we will install Composer, a PHP dependency manager, where we then be able to install Laravel. So once we have everything installed, we just go through how to start a new project and then run the server. Okay, so first of all, we need to install XAMPP. So this is going to be a case of going to the XAMPP website, downloading the latest version, in this case for Windows, and then installing using the default settings. So by all means, go ahead and do that. Skip this section and head on to the next section. However, if you're not too familiar, I'm now going to just take you through how to install XAMPP. Okay, so to install XAMPP, let's head over to Google, type in XAMPP, and we're going to use the download from Apache Friends, and then just download the latest version. So of course, once it's downloaded, just go ahead and run the installation. Just press OK and then Next. So here we don't need a lot of these different tools here. So I'll get rid of the Webalizer and Fake SEMmail. All we need here is PHP MyAdmin and MySQL. And the rest you can just deselect. Obviously, this is also going to install PHP compiler. So we're going to need and utilize that. So press Next. And this will just install onto the C drive. So that's just about it, really. I'll take a few seconds to install and then we can run the server and test to make sure it's working. Towards the end of the installation, you'll be asked by the Windows Defender if you want to block some of these services. Of course, you want to make sure the Apache is working through the firewall. So we press allow access. And then just finish. So you can see that the XAMPP control panel opens. Now, if you're not familiar with this, we'll just close that and close, quit that. An error occurs. I'm using a virtual machine here. So we'll just remove that. So to start the program up, if you go onto the C drive and then the folder that we installed is XAMPP, or we installed XAMPP to the C drive. And then in here, we've got these XAMPP control panel. So we can open that and this is where we can start the services. So for these tutorials, you're gonna need Apache to access phpMyAdmin so you can administrate the database in a graphical user interface and the actual database service. So we allow access to that. So in order to access the root directory or home directory for XAMPP in the browser, once you've got the server running, if you type in the, the loopback address here, that takes you to this page, which is a page that's being served from the htdocs folder. So this is the folder where all your web pages will be served from if you are using XAMPP. So I just delete those and I'll just show you that that's now the case. So it can't find the file now because there are no files there. So now we need to install Composer. So let's go head over to Google and just type in Composer. And this is the dependency manager for PHP. So I just select download. I'm on Windows here. So I just want to run the Composer setup.exe. So that's going to install the latest version of Composer. So let's install this. This should be a fairly straightforward process. Again, we'll just use the default settings. Notice that it provides or it finds the command line in the XAMPP folder for PHP. And we just keep pressing next. We're going to be installing and working on this machine locally. So I just press install. Notice that it finds the version of PHP and then it adds the user path. So I press install. 
and then I press next and that's about it. Okay, so that's Composer installed. So now we're ready to install Laravel. So let's head over to our command prompt because we can do this through the command prompt now. So Composer should be available to us. So I'll just change the directory to make that more viewable and clear that. So now we can run some commands. So the first command we want to run is Composer and then global require and then Laravel installer. So let's now build a new Laravel project. So I'm just going to build this project inside of my XAMPP folder in my htdocs folder. So I cd into that folder and now let's build a new project. So here I'm going to use Composer to do that. So Composer and then create project and then dash dash prefer dash dist. So here there's two options. This is just a preference on where we obtain Laravel from. And then we type in Laravel. So that basically says what we want to install. We want to install Laravel. And now we use the Laravel again, which basically says, okay, now we're going to make a new project with Laravel. And then we name the project in this case, we're going to name the project or the folder app. So we say we use Laravel first to say what we want to install Laravel. And then we use Laravel second to essentially say, okay, we want to create a new Laravel project. And then the project name or the project folder is going to be called in this case app. So depending on your internet connection, this might take a few minutes to download and install. So once it's finished installing, now we can think about actually running a new server. So let's just uh, clear that. So now we're going to run a lightweight PHP server uh, utilizing the command PHP artisan and then serve. Okay, so notice here it says could not open input file. This is because we're not actually in the right directory. So let's go back and just see what we've actually done here. So in this directory, if you remember, we created a new application a folder called app. And inside of here, we now have all the files that we need to start building our Laravel application. So first thing we need to do is just head into that folder. And then from here, we can now type in PHP artisan serve. So you can see now it says the Laravel development server started and it gives us the address of the server using port 8000. So we can change this serve command to utilize different ports and so on. But let's just see this working. So if we go back into our browser and type in our local host, excuse me, and then use the port 8000, that would take us to the page. And there we go. So this page just confirms the fact that Laravel is installed and the application is ready to be developed. It's probably also just clarifying here. We installed XAMPP. Now, if you're familiar to XAMPP, you know that it has a web server, Apache and a database and it's turned on. And so you might be wondering, well, why aren't we using that server? Why are you using a PHP lightweight Laravel server for this? So the reason why we've got XAMPP is installed is because we're going to need to connect our application to a database. So in this case, MySQL and then the Apache that's going to be utilized so that we can use PHP MyAdmin and then just go inside of our database and easily administrate a database while we're building the Laravel app. OK, so there we go. A simple setup of Laravel on a Windows machine using XAMPP and Composer. If you're interested in other installation options, 
then head over to Lavrel Homestead and have a read through installing Homestead onto your computer and the env environment benefits that this could potentially offer. So this is a little bit more of a complex setup than just installing XAMPP, but it's well worth reading through initially.